tuning in to Auto E-Clinic today. My name is Aaron. This is Michael. What we have in the shop today, we have a 1999 Toyota Camry 2.2. Come in with an engine code. We put it on a scanner. It's a P0340, which come up a camshaft position sensor code. How about explaining to us what that means, Mike? Now, when you have a P0340, you could be looking at the camshaft position sensor itself. Could be a faulty sensor. Could be something in the wiring or the circuitry coming from the camshaft position sensor to the PCM or you could have a faulty PCM or engine computer. Okay, well what about the timing Mike? Now that's a good point too. It could be an actual mechanical timing fault because it does read off the reluctor wheels from the camshaft's uh, gears. So if the camshaft, if they're off a tooth from the timing, let's say a worn timing belt or a loose timing belt, it could be internal mechanical, absolutely. Okay, well uh, how do we check this out? What we're going to do first is we're going to back probe the camshaft position sensor. We have our data and our specifications. We know where it should be at idle at around 750 RPMs and at 2500 RPMs. What we're going to be looking for is frequency. If our frequency measurement is correct, then we know at that point the sensor is good and the wiring is good, then it's going to be internal timing. If we don't have the correct frequency reading, then we know we have a bad sensor or bad wiring or even bad PCM. Okay, well let's check that out then. All right. As you can see, we have our camshaft position sensor back probe. We back probed it to leave the circuitry intact from the PCM to the sensor. We are reading our sensor. Specification tells us at 750 RPMs, we should be at 400 to 450 hertz. Now we're idling about 1,000 here and we're about uh, 600 hertz. You'll see as the engine idles up and idles down, the frequency changes. This tells us our cam sensor is reading properly, the PCM is good, the cam sensor is good, and the wiring is good. At this point, we're looking at something mechanical. It's going to be a loose timing belt or a worn timing belt, most likely. When they get wear on them, they'll stretch and they will not read properly. At this point, the engine needs to be tore down. I would suggest a replacement of timing belt, water pump, timing belt tensioner, and timing belt idler pulley. But we do know the circuitry is good, the PCM is good and the sensor is good. This way we don't have any replacements of parts that we don't need to replace. This is a proper diagnosis and now we know where to go on the next step.